when the narcissist refuses to let you go. When you go no contact with a narcissist, they're not just going to leave you alone. They're not just going to let you move on without them. They will intimidate you. They will make you fear danger or harm. And you will feel like there's no way out of this situation. You will feel like there's nothing you can do. Because they just won't leave you alone. It annoys and upsets you. It prevents you from doing or achieving something. Because you are unable to change the situation. You can't move on. Because they won't let you go. They won't let you go because they feel entitled to you. They have a strong sense of entitlement. They believe they have a right to your time, energy and money. They use the relationship to voice their views and to initiate action. They use it to have influence and authority over you. They do this because they are unwilling to tolerate a difficult situation. They cannot accept that you want to move on. They are clearly used to rejection. They are familiar with the dismissing or refusing of their proposal or ideas. So they believe that the only way to have a relationship is to force themselves into a position with you. By giving themselves the authority. By giving themselves the right to make decisions for you. They have forced themselves into a position in your life and then made you feel like you can't get out of it. They've made you feel like you can't escape. In their minds, it's like they've got you in a relationship and there's nothing you can do about it. You can't abandon them. The narcissist will devalue and degrade you. They will insult you and call you names. They will criticize you and put you down. And they will brainwash you into thinking that you have to put up with it. You have to tolerate this kind of treatment. And it makes you think that maybe you do have to deal with it. Maybe this is just a part of your life now. But you need to work on your self-esteem. You need to respect yourself enough to realize that this is not right. Remind yourself of your admirable qualities or possessions. Remind yourself of your achievements. And you will realize that you don't deserve to be treated in this way. You deserve love and respect just for being alive. They will try to intimidate you. They will try to force you into a position where you cannot abandon them. But don't be threatened by this. Don't let them get to you. When you do decide to go no contact and leave the relationship, this will cause a narcissistic injury. 
when you try to separate yourself from the narcissist, they will try to make you feel like you can't leave. They will try to make you feel like they're going to be a part of your life and there's nothing you can do about it. They will claim ownership of a position in your life and they will use forceful behavior to intimidate you into recognizing their authority or rights. You need to recognize your own power. You need to recognize that you are an effective independent person. You have the ability to make your own decisions. And no one can take that away from you. You don't have to take their orders. You don't have to let them tell you what to do. They will try to intimidate you, but that's just designed to force you into submission. Most of the time they're just bluffing. They're trying to deceive you of their abilities or intentions. They will tell you that you're morally or legally bound to do something. They will make you think that you have a duty or commitment. But if you just decide to move on, what are they going to do? They can't physically drag you back in. There's nothing they can do about it. They're just bluffing. They're just trying to intimidate you because they're thinking that will make you do what they want. They're thinking that will help them in controlling you. They will brainwash you into thinking that you can't move on without them. They will try to make you think that you need to be in a relationship with them. because they think that will prevent you from abandoning them. You need to be responsible. You need to stop communicating with them. When you do this, you are giving them opportunities to remain in your life. You need to forget about what the relationship used to be like and see it as it is now. Look at the way that they're behaving towards you. If a thug approached you and started harassing you on the street, you would do whatever it takes to escape. You would never return to them again. You would avoid walking down that street. So it should be the same thing with a narcissist. Because there's really no difference between them. They are bullies. They seek to harm, intimidate and coerce you. They want to make you afraid. They feed off your fear. They want to persuade you to do something that you are unwilling to do. They want to obtain something from you by using force or threats. But you should not tolerate this type of behavior. You need to get out of that situation. You need to go no contact.
they may try to contact you on social media. They may post insulting things about you. But you need to ignore it. They may even like your posts. They may make good comments. But either way, you shouldn't let it affect you. It doesn't matter if a narcissist likes something. You should see it as something unpleasant. You should see it as offensive. Because you see through their game. Ignore any kind of contact they try to make with you. Don't interact with a narcissist. It is your responsibility to disengage with them. It is your responsibility to stay no contact. And when you do that, they will be forced to move on. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.